Hi, it's Mary Jo, and I am here with Ray, the owner of Water Heaters Now. We're going to talk about a heat pump water heater. It is amazing, and there's a lot I don't know, so we're going to ask some questions. And Ray, you're the owner of Water Heaters Now. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your company. Well, our company was founded six years ago. We were a plumbing company in the Twin Cities for 13 years, and we really desired to do something where we could do one dynamic of plumbing, do it the best in the market, and it was our desire to do that with water heaters because there's so many ways that we can reduce the carbon footprint, treat customers like royalty, really do the right job every time. So water heaters is our choice, and that was in 2017, and it's been a great business. Okay, so the standard house is going to have a regular gas fire, or a gas water heater. So most most people, from my experience, when something goes off, they run to Home Depot or to Menards or something to get the same thing, but a newer version. Why should they switch to this? Well, there's some great reasons to go. This is a hybrid water heater. And what that means, Mary Jo, is that it'll pull air in from your basement and then pull it in. If we took the shell off, it would look like an A-coil, kind of like an air conditioner. Okay. And then it'll extrapolate the heat from the air, introduce that into the water, heat the water up, and discharge air that's 15 to 20 degrees cooler, which you See, could this? actually put right in your furnace and have it aid in air conditioning. Wow, so it does both heating and air conditioning. I wouldn't say it does air conditioning. It'll assist your furnace to have to put less electricity into working your air conditioning system because you're introducing some cool air into it. Okay, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's air conditioning, but it does help with your with your HVAC system in the summertime. Okay, especially in the summertime, which yeah. is what I was going to ask. Um, so it works, it brings air in to, and then, and then to the coils, it heats it up. Yep, yeah. so it brings air in here, goes through a filter that could get cleaned a couple times a year, goes into a coil. The coil has a condenser. That's why there's a condensate right here, okay. because within the coil, it's gonna condense that heat. You know, we're so used to thinking about heat in terms of the comfort of our body, right? Yes. You know, we wanna be right around 65 to 72 degrees, depending on where uh, your marriage is gonna break apart at. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oldest fight you. in the book is a thermostat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's when you're thinking about heat, when it comes to mechanical things, you need to take your body out of the equation and just understand if we can bring in 70 degree air and it pushes out 50 degree air, we've taken 20 degrees of heat and put that into the water. Now that doesn't just oh. mean that the water is going to go from 40 to 60 degrees because it can continue to do that and bring it from 60 to 80, 80 to 100, 100 to 120. Through the heat pump system, this can heat your water all the way up to 120 degrees, okay. albeit slower than gas or electricity. And that's why this is called a hybrid because it has a heat pump, but it also has a place for your 220 power so that it can use the two electric elements and work in tandem with your heat pump to be able to get you the desired results. You just simply place it in the appropriate mode, economy mode, heat pump mode, electric mode, vacation mode, and it will understand if you want it to use both fuels, one fuel, the other fuel, or no fuel, and all that can be done right off your phone with the Econet app. Okay, but you set this up so I don't have to fret. That's exactly right. We'll do that before we leave the home. Okay. Um, the question is, how long does it take to heat the water? Right now, like I've got a gas water heater and I have to let it run and I feel bad because I'm wasting water until it heats up. How so, long does this work? So using the heat pump, it's gonna heat up very slow. Okay. Very slow. Once it gets hot, it can be more efficient with using the heat pump. It's gonna have to use the two electric elements to get it up to temp initially. Okay. Um, even if you had it only on heat pump mode, it knows it just takes too long to do that initially. So it kicks in first so with the electric? kick the elements in with the electric, gets the whole water heater up to temp, and then depending on which mode will tell you what percentage of the heat work the heat pump will do. The cool thing about the app is you can look in your app and see how much hot water you have available in terms of gallons. Oh, okay. It can tell you how many- You've been in the shower 20 minutes, that's enough, right? <laughs> a little alarm goes off, get out, get out. Wouldn't it be nice if your teenage daughter, if you just had an app, you could turn the hot water off immediately? Oh my gosh, I'm I would love that. house, and this little tiny girl comes out of the bathroom, and there is a vapor 
everywhere. Mm. And I goes, um, mom, just let her let it run. So this does require 220. Yes, uh, it does. Volts. Yep. Okay, so the house has to be wired for that. So tell us, where can people be in touch with you and get the information directly from you? Well, if you're in the Twin Cities Metro, which is the only market that water heaters now services, but anywhere inside or even outside the greater metro area, St. Paul, Minneapolis, you can just go on the internet, look up water heaters now, we're everywhere. Um, it's not a stretch to say that we're the largest water heater installer in the Twin Cities because it's all that we do. We do about 1,500 heaters a year. Um, and as people will be able to tell by our reviews, we really care about the way that we treat people. And we care about the kind of equipment that we put in and putting it in properly is so important. This is a high tech unit and there are some installation variables that require a professional if it's going to be set up right. But There's not all professionals are equal either. Not all professionals are equal. You want to work with somebody that understands the technology. Exactly. And not all do. So are people taking advantage of new legislation and rebates to install these? Boy, that's a that's a deep well of information because okay. there's been so many acts where they're giving tax credits from the federal government. The energy companies are giving rebates. Um, and then in addition to that, you could you will save a minimum of 300 a year with this unit and a maximum of 900 a year, depending on what you were using before. How much you're using. Right. In this exactly. application, they had a gas water heater today. Uh, we disconnected the gas and the venting. That water heater was probably costing around six or seven hundred dollars a year. Um, the price on this is one hundred and fifty five a year. This homeowner is going to realize about a five hundred dollar a year savings. So this wow. water heater will actually pay for itself in five years and then continue to pay you back year over year. Not to so mention you you're doing the right thing. Those dollars. You're counting dollars. You're doing the right thing by energy, Mary Jo, for every reason. This is the smartest piece of equipment I've ever seen in a home. Wow, that says a lot. It does. So that should that should wrap us up for today. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll have Ray's information, water heaters information right below. Give them a call if you're interested. And if you can't find that, just call me 612-384-1360 and I'll send you to him.